You can shuffle too, like this. I think you can do one of those fancy knee shuffles. I could. Like that. Yeah. Something like that. We've got a professional. Looks pretty well shuffled. Yes. You shuffle? Um, sometimes. Good. So we'll <laughs> say this is shuffle. You're going to go, instead of going through the cards face up, because mm -hmm. that can influence your decision, you're going to do this with the cards face down. Okay. You're going to isolate one card without looking at it. So you're going to spread through, choose a face down card, then take all the cards below it, turn those face up. Okay. And all the cards above it, turn those face up. Okay. So you've isolated one card without okay. looking at it. Obviously, you get to do your own in the pack, and I'll give you a, a, a fresh start with okay. these little shuffle. Go ahead. You're going to spread through. And by the way, well, this will be influenced. No, this will be of interest in a second. No, face down. Face down. Stop at any face down card. You're isolated by turning all okay. the cards below it face up. Okay. And all the cards above it face up. Good. So you've isolated one. Okay. Perfect. And this is neat. You have a jack of spades at the face. Yes. And you have, ooh, you have one card isolated right about there. I also have a jack of spades at the ah. face. <laughs> And I've also isolated a card about the middle. Wouldn't it be neat if these had some relationship with each other? It'd be pretty neat. You had a nine. Uh huh. I also had a nine. <laughs> That's <What>? nice. <laughs> That's nice. That's crazy talk. <laughs> Ooh, working with a small table. Isn't yeah. It? Either way. and with those jacks, of course, would be perfect. But that's how you find a mate within a deck. Every deck of cards also has mates in it as well. Okay. In fact, um, perhaps if you'll just deal a few cards face up, mm -hmm. stop at any point, deal one face down without looking at it. Go ahead, I'll let you do the deal right there. Right there. Right there. You want to go further? No, no. Maybe one or two? You don't have to, it's fine. <laughs> Here. I don't want to influence your decision too much. As long as you're fine. So I'm going to deal a few face up. At some point on my whim, I'm just going to deal one face down. On my whim. Doesn't feel very whimmy yet. <laughs> Is that a, I don't know what that means. Oh, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go here. So you've turned one face up, I've turned one face up. Wouldn't it be interesting if these had some sort of relationship with each other? So you turned over an eight of hearts, I turned over... Ooh, an eight of diamonds. Nice. <laughs> you can't get more related than that, right? Than eight of diamonds, eight of hearts. But that's just a coincidence. That's not mind reading, that's not influence. So let's take it a step further, shall we? Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. I mean, we're here, why not? <laughs> so, Casey, I'm gonna give you about half the okay. card. That's not about half, this is doesn't matter if it's exact. I want you to look through, spread through the faces okay. like this. Think of one of those cards, but keep them spread so you can keep a focus on it. Okay. I want you to take all the cards between you and it and place them face up on the table like that. Like this? Yeah, that's okay. perfect. And then take your card, place that face down on top. Okay. And place the rest face. Perfect. So you've isolated your card like that. I have no idea if the mate of your card is in here. So I want you to look through. Obviously don't say I see the mate mm -hmm. when you see the mate. Wait till I get through all the cards. Otherwise it kind of gives everything away. <laughs> so the question is, have you seen the mate yes. to your card? You yes. have. Mm -hmm. Great. Think of your card. Look at me. I believe I can do this. And you have no idea what the card is. No, I don't. No. I'm going to put that one. Okay. I know that's a bold guess, but <laughs> that one. I'm going to put it right about here. Now you'll notice there is no, uh, there's no particular relationship Mm -hmm. between your cards and my cards in terms of the, the positions of the cards. I mean, this is a coincidence, but for the most part, there's no correlation between the position of the mm -hmm. cards and what the cards are. But you isolated a card and I isolated <laughs> a card in the exact same place. Your card was the Ace of Clubs. Yes, it is. And of course, mine was the Ace of Spades. <laughs> and that's pretty okay. <laughs> but I think you could do better than me. Oh, okay. I do. In fact, I think you both could do better than me. In fact, I think maybe you could take 
three or four cards from here and mate them to the positions that are here. Okay. Yeah. In fact, just look through these cards. Don't try to memorize okay. the order. Just let them seep into your subconscious. Craig, you do the same thing. Fine, we'll do. Done. So right now your brains are working. <laughs> and they're tracking everything. Here's what you're going to do. You can switch the four and the ace. Okay. Or okay. actually you could switch the seven and the four. Or you could switch the two on the outside, the seven and the ace. So the top two, the bottom two, or the outside two. Which? Uh, top two. The top two. Go ahead and switch them. So okay. the four goes where the ace was and put them face up on okay. the table. What about the next three? The top two, the bottom two, or the outside two? Uh, the outside two. The, so the queen would go where the seven goes. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. What about the next three? And pop them down. Pop them down. Uh, top two. The top two. Go ahead. What about the next three? Uh, bottom two. The bottom two. So you want to switch the, the, the king and the ten. Yes. Go ahead. Switch those. Yeah and then pop them down. What about the next three? The uh, bottom two. The eight and the five. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, switch those. What about the next three? Uh, middles. The, the middles? I'm sorry. The, the outsides. The outside, yeah, Go yeah. ahead, and switch <laughs> those. And then pop them down. What about those three? Uh, the top two. The top, the three and the king? Yes. Go ahead, please. And the next three? Uh, middles. The I'm outsides. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, you could switch the middle, but that's just doing <laughs> nothing. So that's not really, it doesn't do much. <laughs> Outside top two uh, top or the, two. the two twos? Uh, the two twos. Ooh. The two twos. Do the two two. And the last three. Uh, bottom two. The bottom two. So the jack and the eight. Yeah. Go ahead and switch those. Perfect. So wouldn't it be neat if not only did you switch a few of them, uh -huh. but you actually got every single card to match. Wouldn't that be cool? Mm -hmm. In other words, you got the seven, the ten, the queen. Let's see. The seven. The Okay. You weren't trying to do that. No. No. But that would have been cool. Yeah. <laughs> But your brains know where the matches are. So name a number between five and ten. Six. Six. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth card. That's a nine. That's a nine. Ah. Awesome. Give me another number between five and ten. Um, seven. Seven. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Moment of truth. Seven. That's an eight. That's an eight. <laughs> you can't get any more matched than that. In fact, if you would have gone one more. It wouldn't have worked. Give me another number between five and ten. Let's go nine. Nine. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the ninth card. We have another hit. Just say stop for me. Okay. Stop. These two or these two? Um, these two. An eight and a, you can't get any more match than that. So you've managed to match perfectly the positions of four different cards. Let's take it a step further. Craig, if you'll take a few cards, <laughs> cut them right there. And if you'll take a few cards, cut them there. Okay. Just take some more, cut them over there. And you take some more, okay. cut them there. Okay, we'll just... <laughs> do it one more time, except we'll do it from this direction. You take some, you take some. So you're not only mixing them and cutting them this way, but we're cutting them face up, face down. That's perfect. If you'll take those, and you'll take those, okay. start dealing cards to the table, one at a time, and stop wherever you'd like. You both don't have to deal the same amount of okay. cards, it doesn't matter. And then turn the rest over that you have and pop them on top. Great. Do that again. You almost stopped. Oh, I, you sure? Yes. Turn the rest over? Yes. Pop them on top. You ha are you happy? I am happy. Good. <laughs> You kind of scare me a little bit, but that's <laughs> also good. So you, you have a bunch of cards. You had a bunch of cards. Yeah. Yeah. He says, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> uh, all the cards, every which way, every what way, every way indeed. So let's just see if, um, how you did in terms of mixing everything up. So we have queens and uh, two, not a match obviously, but a nine and a two, a six. All right, so you haven't matched. Okay, you haven't matched anything. Can you hold out your hand like that? So you hold onto those, put your other hand on top like that. Perfect. Can you put your hand on top of those? That's perfect. Here's what you're going to do. In a moment, you're going to look through your cards. Don't do it yet. You're going to get 60 seconds to do this. You're going to compare your cards with her cards. You're going to compare your cards with his cards. You're going to try to match and position all the mates to the exact same place as quickly as you can. Oh and you won't remember doing it. In fact, it's done. Done. Lift your hands. Place your cards there. That's a good start. <laughs> so you have twos. Ah, 
The black twos, the two twos, nice. The fives, <laughs> the black eights, <laughs> the jacks, <laughs> the aces, the fours, the sevens, the tens, the queen, ooh, mistake. Oh no, perfect. Ah. The nines, the sixes, the sevens, the tens, the kings, the threes, the fives, the eights, the jacks, the aces, the fours, the That's kings, crazy. the threes, the oh sixes, the nines. Perfect. That's I don't think crazy. you can do better than that. It's amazing. How'd you do it? You tell me. All, right. <laughs> <laughs> All I did was watch. Do you want to try to take it further? Uh, I'm going to run through the cards. I want you to just let them again seep into your subconscious. If I'm going too fast, slow me down. Okay. <laughs> too fast? Yeah, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. Okay. No, 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 I want no. you to think back, think back, <laughs> and just try to track all of the spades. Just oh, in your okay. mind, just think about just the spades. Because I think with just six cuts, six cuts, you can rearrange all the spades so that if you deal four hands, they'll all come to you. Don't worry, you're only responsible for three of them. <laughs> Craig, you get to do the first three. Okay. Cut about a third right there on the table. Another but half of what's left over and okay. pop the rest down. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Do just like he did. Okay. About a third there, another third, pop them down and go gather them up. Okay. Moment of truth, deal. Okay. Yeah, deal a card there. That's one, two, three, and the fourth one face up to okay. you. Okay. That's a good place to start. <laughs> That's nice. Good choice. Oh. <laughs> Going for the queen. Might we not play poker with you. <laughs> a jack, I like it. I didn't ask them to be in order, but I like that still. A 10, oh. if it's a nine, I'm gonna freak out. Nine. <laughs> Eight, I'm getting nervous too. <laughs> seven, seven. Okay. I like the bat one. All right. Six. Ah. Is that a five? It is a five. <laughs> Four, three, moment of truth. We're looking for a two of spades. And she hits it. Crazy. I don't know if you could do any better than that. Actually, it'd be crazy. It'd be crazy if you got all the diamonds. The king of diamonds, the queen of diamonds, the jack, the ten, the nine, all the way through every single diamond. It'd be crazy. It'd be nuts. It'd be insane <laughs> if she got... All of the clubs, the king, the nine, the eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. In fact, I don't think you could do better than getting all the hearts. I don't know if you could do better than that. That's perfect. That's crazy. Keep this one. <laughs> <laughs>